For cheap fee 15 coins, MSP and PSN codes, go to utcoinsforyou.com. Use the code DAM for 5% off. They are fully automated. Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, we'll do a new FIFA 15 squad, but we've got a nice cheap squad for you today actually, we've got a 14k two league mix, which is the Turkish league and the uh, the Russian league, we've got players like Musa, Diego and MNEK in it, it's really overpowered, uh, let's get into the video, could you hit that like button and hit 100 likes, I'd appreciate that a lot, also comment down below what you thought of the video and the actual squad itself, we're using a 4-1-2-1-2 formation, which is my favourite of FIFA 15 so far, we start from goal with Muslera, who plays a Galatasaray, um, I noticed his diving and his reflexes were really good he's got 80 diving and 87 reflexes on the card and cost me 750 coins so definitely worth that and he was a decent keeper now we've got two silver center backs in like ahead of him and don't be put off because they're silver but they're actually really good Akaminko starts off off uh, he's got 80 pace eight, uh, 73 defending and 78 physical some nice stats for silver and he cost me 2.2k definitely worth those and uh, next one we've got uh, Chico uh, 67 pace so a bit less pace than him um, but he's got 76 defending and 80 physical which was really good and he cost me 750 coins. Both centre backs really worth their value, and he's six at one, and he's got low attacking and a high defensive work rate, which means he is always in the right place at the right time. Now, in a right map position, we've got um, Mario Fernandez. He's got 81 pace, 78 defending, and 76 physical. Uh, he cost me 650 coins. Another really cheap player. He's got the high work rates, which I didn't really notice. I mean, he got a couple of injuries, but he he was a decent right back. Now, in a left back position, we've got Erkin, who seemed really quick on the boy. He seemed a lot quicker than 82 pace, uh, but he's got all stats above sense too which is incredible and um, he's got the high attacking work rate and medium defences I really thought he was a really good right back and we've got a couple of defensive uh, clips right here we've got a really good keeper save from a penalty right there a great save from Muslera another one where they get through and goal it is Andy Carroll I think it is getting through and goal it's a great diving save from Muslera just getting it past the post and uh, we can move into the midfield right now we've got two uh, a CDM two wingers and a cam and it just gave a lot of support between the midfield no between the defence and the attack we start off in uh, Mello at CDM 81 rated with 76 pace 80 defending and 85 physical 86 physical sorry uh, it cost me 1.9k got me 3 goals and 2 assists in 10 games definitely worth those coins and he, he, he always supported that midfield he was always in the right place at the right time and he, he was sort of an anchor to the midfield now in the right mid position we've got Tosic uh, 89 pace 84 dribbling and 76 shooting uh, he's got the high attacking work rate medium defensive and cost me end of 50 coins and he's a really skillful winger now in the left mid position We've got Bruma, who is so quick. He's got 91 pace, 82 dribbling, and 80, uh, 66 shooting. And he always got down that line. I mean, I mean, wingers for crossing aren't as useful this year, but he just supported the attack all the time. He cut in a bit, and he just put some nice balls into the, tr the strikers and also the Cam Diego right here, who's got some really nice stats. His free kicks are really good as well. Uh, that's who I'd take, uh, take with if you're going to take a free kick with this squad. He's got really good accuracy and scored me a couple with this squad. He's got a really nice goal right there, and he just was always in attack. He's got four-star skill moves, and... That's that's what's good with a cam. If you've got a cam with four star skills, that's just my preferences. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you thought. Well, who you want in an ideal midfield? That's who. Well, I, I'd want someone who's always in a CDM position all the time and doesn't push up too much. And Melo does that job for you. Um, he does attack a bit. I mean, of course, you've got a midfield who's got attack. I mean, you've got a four in defence to support him. But you've got two wingers who've always supported the attack as well. Tosic going through right there. That's a great neat finish into the bottom corner as well. And look at this. This is what I mean by free kicks. It's a great free kick from close range and I wouldn't say Diego's good for taking him from far out as he's got like his his better free kick stats are his accuracy and his curve but his power's not so good I, I reckon maybe someone like MNEK or Melo but in a striker position we've got MNEK to start us off with he's a really strong attacking player of 88 pace um, his shooting's good he's got 80, shoot 80 shooting and he got me 12 goals and uh, 6 assists in 10 games and cost me 3.8k definitely worth it one of the most overpowered strikers I've used so far next we've got Musa who's quite a contrast of a striker, I mean he's quite a weak striker, he gets pushed off the ball quite a lot, but he's, he's so quick that he gets past the defender before he can do that, he's got 93 pace, 81 dribbling and 74 shooting, and he's got the 4 star skill moves and got me 8 goals in 10 games, now both really good strikers, I'd advise using this team, for 15k it's definitely worth it, I mean look at that for a great goal from MNEK, and I'd say he's more of a dominant striker than Musa does, like, I mean... Both really attacking strikers, both really clinical from inside the box. But I thought that MNAK, um buried more than Musa did. and But both really good overpowered strikers. Now, if I was to pair the most like overpowered strikers on the game, 
I so far I'd actually use Dumbia and uh, Ibarbo, but with a close second I'd probably feature M and E K instead of Dumbia. Maybe it depends what sort of day I'm feeling. But um, Ibarbo's got to be in that over power striker section all the time. He's just so good. He got me 26 goals in 10 games, which was amazing. Uh, look at this great work from Musa right there using a double roulette and just finishing into the open net. I think it's really easy to take it run a keeper this year. Um, a couple of things which I want from EA to do. I mean, I want a latency back. The latency bar I mean that just improves it a lot I hate coming into games where they're really laggy I mean you could stop that if they've got like a red bar connection which we had for the f past few years on FIFA I don't know why they've removed it and look at that for great solo run from m &E with a perfect like like not very powerful finish into the bottom corner it's just placement another goal right here from m and &E cutting aside with a fake shot and then banging it into the bottom corner I mean to say Gun probably should have done better right there but that is his squad finish could you hit that like button get us to 100 likes I appreciate your support also go check out YouTube coins for you use the code DAN for 5% off have a very nice day and see you later